Introduction Beyond Words The Essence of Communication and Enlightenment In the vast realm of human interaction and understanding, there exists an extraordinary realm that transcends the confines of language, reaching into the profound depths of unspoken communication and heart-to-heart -heart connection. This is the domain of authentic communication and the mystical path of enlightenment. Great communication surpasses mere exchange of words. It involves a deep, resonating connection between individuals, where thoughts and emotions are understood intuitively. This intuitive understanding forms the cornerstone of true communication, fostering a palpable bond that transcends the spoken word. It is the silent language of the heart, the mute but potent dialogue between souls, that forms the essence of genuine connection. Just as a painting conveys a thousand words without needing to voice a single one, authentic communication allows for profound understanding without utterances. It reflects in an empathetic sigh, a compassionate glance, or a consoling hug. It delivers a message loud and clear, beyond the realm of syllables and sounds, establishing a resonance that remains unmatched by verbal exchanges. The quest for enlightenment bears analogous characteristics. The path towards enlightenment isn't paved with mere words or discourses. Instead, it is an inward journey, a silent exploration of one's own spirit, a transcendence beyond the physical plane of existence to understand the divine essence of life. This journey doesn't require linguistic aids, rather, it calls for an unwavering determination, a keen introspection, and an open heart. Just as a murmuring brook doesn't reveal its wisdom through words, enlightenment springs from silence and tranquility. It's like the quiet rustle of leaves sharing the secrets of nature, the mellifluous chirping of birds hymning the anthem of life, or the majestic mountain that stands tall, imparting profound lessons in resilience. These aspects of nature don't use language, yet convey powerful lessons that lead towards enlightenment. Whether it's a deep understanding between two individuals or a spiritual journey towards enlightenment, both are anchored in experiences that lie beyond the dimensions of words and speak directly to our heart. These transcendental exchanges exemplify the highest form of communication and understanding. They impart wisdom, serenity, and profound insights without being bound by the limits of language. Hence, they bear testament to the innate capacity of the human spirit to uncover, understand, and communicate truths in astounding silence. Dear audience, welcome back to the Tao Te Ching Unveiled series. I'm Echo East, and it's wonderful to be with you once again. Today, we reach a significant landmark, Chapter 16, the final chapter of the Tao section in the authentic edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching. Lecture 19 Chapter 16 of the Authentic Edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching Chapter 16 The Final Chapter of the Tao Section in the Authentic Edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching In our previous session, Chapter 15 invited us to explore the compelling wisdom gleaned from returning to the Source, the origin of everything. We discovered how this key principle nurtures lasting tranquility and stability, cultivating in us a deep-rooted connection to our origins and a heightened consciousness of the universe that encircles us. This understanding enriches our existence in countless ways, deepening our perception of Taoist principles and leading us towards our ultimate aspiration, a state of unison and contentment. As we delve into chapter 16 today, the concluding chapter of the Tao section in Laozi's Tao Te Ching, we look forward to a crescendo of enlightened teachings and revelations inherited from this timeless masterpiece. Chapter 16 holds a meaningful position within the Tao Te Ching. It not only echoes the foundational doctrines outlined in the inaugural chapter but also masterfully encapsulates the quintessence of Tao illuminated nine chapters herein. The Tao Te Ching, a magnificent testament to Taoism's profound wisdom, unfurls its teachings much like a richly woven tapestry, each thread representing a verse, a chapter, contributing to an articulate, compelling narrative. In Chapter 1, Laozi gently hints at Tao's enigmatic nature, defining it as an entity existing yet elusive, named yet nameless. The Tao that can be spoken of is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. These words set the tenor for the riddles to be unraveled in the following chapters. In Chapter 16, Laozi revisits the paradoxical character of Tao, emphasizing that all interpretation of Tao in preceding chapters is beyond the confinement of verbal explication. He accentuates this to underline that Taoist philosophy surpasses textual representations, transcending linguistic interpretations. Realizing Tao, as per Laozi, 
does not find residence within the scholarly debates or linguistic illumination, it dwells within the profound depths of direct experience and self-realization. Laozi, in essence, elucidates a striking paradox. While the Tao Te Ching is an anthology of wisdom etched into words, the authentic essence of Tao remains unscathed by the constraints of language, resonating not in discourse but silence, not in scholarly wisdom but inherent understanding. True comprehension of Tao manifests in moments of reflective quietude, in disciplined introspection, and inner peace. In these calm moments, one begins to perceive the murmurs of Tao, intangible yet immense in impact, a testament to Tao's true beauty, which lies beyond spoken words, in the wisdom beyond verbal language. The profoundness beyond expression, this is the true Tao. Let's go to the text. 第十六章,知止于道,道出言,但无畏,视之不足见,听之不足闻,用之不可尽。道常无名,使之有名,名亦既有,福亦将知止,知止所以不待。Chapter 16, Letting Go of the Name to Embrace the Tao The Tao when expressed in words is insipid or bland. Looked at, it cannot be seen. Listened to, it cannot be heard. Used, it cannot be exhausted. The Tao is always nameless. A name is given in order to define it. Though it has a name now. We should not dwell on this name. By not dwelling on names. We can avoid danger and misfortune. Detailed Explanation 1. The Tao when expressed in words is insipid or bland. This sentence suggests that the Tao cannot be fully captured or described by words. Any attempt to articulate it will fall short, losing the essence or flavor of what the Tao truly is. 2. Looked at, it cannot be seen. The Tao is not an object that can be visually perceived with the eyes. It is beyond the realm of physical form and, therefore, cannot be observed like a physical object. 3. Listen to, it cannot be heard. Similarly, the Tao cannot be heard like a sound. It exists beyond sensory detection, implying that the essential nature of the Tao is not a part of the auditory world. 4. Used, it cannot be exhausted. This highlights the inexhaustible nature of the Tao. It can be used or accessed in various ways through living and acting in harmony with it, but it never diminishes or runs out. 5. The Tao is always nameless. The Tao predates names and definitions, it is eternal and unnameable. Any names we give to the Tao are artificial and cannot encapsulate its boundlessness. 6. A name is given in order to define it. Despite its namelessness, humans give names to the Tao in an attempt to define, understand, and communicate about it. 7. Though it has a name now. Acknowledging that we do refer to it as the Tao, or by other names, for the sake of practicality. 8. We should not dwell on this name. This advises against becoming too attached to the name or definition we assign to the Tao, as such attachments can lead to misunderstandings or limitations in our perception of it. 9. By not dwelling on names, we can avoid danger and misfortune suggests that by freeing ourselves from the limitations of language and the confines of definitions, we can steer clear of potential issues that arise from misrepresenting or confining the Tao within our limited concepts. Overall, these lines from the Tao Te Ching emphasize the ineffable and indefinable nature of the Tao, cautioning against the pitfalls of trying to confine the unconfinable with the use of language and names. Chapter 16 is the final chapter in the Tao section of the authentic edition of Laozi's Tao Te Ching. It not only echoes the first chapter but also serves as a summary of the Tao section. At the culmination of the Tao Te Ching, Laozi poetically discloses the nature of the Tao, nameless or formless, existing beyond the constraints of human notions and speech. Despite this, in order to foster deeper understanding and facilitate dialogue, Laozi concedes to naming this ineffable concept the Tao. He insists, however, that this assigned name serves solely as an emblem, failing to encapsulate the fundamental essence of the Tao. He cautions against the limitations imposed by names and rigid definitions, advocating for a perception that transcends such constructs to grasp the underlying principles and verities they represent. Lousy posits that a true apprehension and experience of the Tao necessitates relinquishing the crutch of nominal and linguistic descriptors, advocating for an authentic, heartfelt engagement with its essence. Through his guidance, Laozi aspires for us to sincerely explore and understand the Tao, to become harmoniously integrated with it.
This understanding is crucial for avoiding the perils and disruptions that beset us, enabling a life that's marked by tranquility and contentment. His teachings compel us to look past the superficiality of labels and terms, immersing ourselves in life's true substance to realize genuine liberation and satisfaction. As Laozi explicates in the Tao section's final passage, the Tao defies naming, and its act of naming, albeit a reluctant necessity, provides a basis for differentiation, recognition, and comprehension. Yet, the term Tao does not truly convey its indescribable nature. This theme resonates through Laozi's use of metaphor and naming throughout the text, he draws attention to these devices as mere tools rather than definitive descriptions of the Tao. He reinforces the inaugural chapter's message, that the expressible Tao isn't the eternal Tao, and a nameable name isn't eternal. While recognizing other interpretations align with Laozi's philosophy, mind diverges, particularly suggesting that Laozi's intent is not exclusively tied to expositions laid out in subsequent chapters, but rather encapsulated within this chapter itself. Laozi's imperative here is clear, to cast aside previous understandings and monikers in favor of directly experiencing the inexpressible Tao. In reaffirmation, he underscores that his teachings of the Tao go beyond its nominal assignment. Here allow me to share some of my own thoughts and opinions. My New Perspective on Laozi's Wisdom Dear audience, as you may have noticed, the version of the Tao Te Ching that I use differs significantly from most popular versions available in the market. There are noticeable differences in the structure and content, leading to varied interpretations. Furthermore, my understanding and explanation often moves beyond traditional interpretations in many areas. I won't detail these differences here, but I encourage those interested to compare this version with others to get a nuanced understanding. Throughout my explorations in the profundities of Taoist teachings, I have found Laozi's insights remain as potent today as they have been for millennia. Among these teachings, the phrase, zhi zhi, so yi bu dai, traditionally interpreted as, knowing when to stop avoids danger, has recently offered me new depths of understanding. Today I would like to share my personal interpretation, which significantly diverges from the conventional approach, revealing a more profound and practical value behind Laozi's wisdom. My thought process pivots around this proposition, not dwelling on names allows us to avoid danger and misfortune. This perspective underscores the necessity of transcending the limitations of language and the confines marked by definitions. I advocate moving beyond the potential issues that might emerge from boxing the Tao within our restricted human concepts and constructs. Rather than simply considering Shi or stop as a call to halt or cease, I perceive it as a plea to quit the relentless human need for categorization and naming. My interpretation focuses on the idea that by loosening our dependence on language's rigid structures, we can navigate the Tao more harmoniously, bypassing potential pitfalls linked to attempting to confine the dynamic, limitless Tao within our finite conceptual frameworks. From a Taoist perspective, being in tune with the Tao entails experiencing the universe beyond human-imposed boundaries and partitions. This comprehension of existence in its unadulterated and unsegregated form is at the heart of Taoist philosophy. The idea is to comprehend the world beyond intellectual and semantic demarcations. Where traditional interpretations of zhi zhi, so yi bu dai, have primarily stressed the material realm, advocating contentment and the cessation of worldly desires, my interpretation introduces a new layer, moving beyond the physical world to intellectual liberation. Laozi's Tao Te Ching consistently points to the inadequacy of language in encapsulating the Tao's essence. Here, I extend this idea, suggesting that by shedding our insistence on naming and defining, we might inch closer to a more profound resonance with the Tao and the realities it encompasses. In my view, this interpretation of, knowing to stop, enlightens us to halt not just at material pursuits but also at curtailing our own instinctual categorical thinking. To me, zhi zhi, so yi bu dai offers a lesson in liberating our minds from preconceived categories and definitions. This, in turn, can lead us toward a deeper, more meaningful alignment with the elemental forces embodied in the Tao. This perspective reiterates the importance of liberating our perceptions from the boundaries of language, underscoring a path to a more genuine understanding of life and existence as resonated in the Tao. This journey into Laozi's wisdom reinforces my belief in the timeless relevance of his teachings and their ability to continually offer fresh perspectives on our interactions with the world around us. It's an invitation to us all to continue probing, questioning, and shedding our preconceived notions to truly apprehend the Tao's unadorned, splendid teachings in our lives. 
Grasping the Dichotomy of Language, a Guide and a Trap As humans, we navigate the labyrinth of existence with language as our compass and torch, using it as a tool to dissect, categorize, and define the sprawling universe around us. This linguistic lens casts an ordering shadow over the chaos of reality, partitioning it into comfortably digestible tracts. However, hidden within this utility is a double-edged sword, for our attempts to simplify can inadvertently warp and blunt the profundity of the truth. Take the example of the customary division of animals into domestic pets and wildlife. Such a binary is admittedly useful for basic understanding, but upon closer scrutiny, it threatens to cast a veil over the complex flow of life where identities often intermingle. A beloved pet dog, nestled comfortably in a family's hearth, may unexpectedly give way to its wild, primal instincts in an instant. This duality, fluidly oscillating between tame and wild, dismantles our rigid labels, revealing the limitations of such binary thinking. In a similar vein, the linguistic tags we attach to individuals or objects act as guides for our interaction, yet they simultaneously run the risk of eliciting shallow stereotypes and presumptions. In our eagerness to classify, we may overlook the rich diversity and unique narratives that underpin each person and object, diminishing them to mere broadbrush caricatures. Hence, as much as language provides a structured pathway to comprehension, it can also ensnare us in a web of oversimplifications. To appreciate the full spectrum of reality is to acknowledge this paradox and strive to unearth the nuanced truths hidden beneath the surface of generalizations. Traversing the complex maze of linguistic nuances in our global village. Language, a double-edged sword, presents intricate challenges that spill over into miscommunication and misinterpretation. Words, spinners of multiple webs of meaning, are often caught in a tango of shifting contexts. Even within the boundary of a single linguistic landscape, they can paint an array of visions, shaping myriad realities and birthing confusion in their wake. Consider for instance the word freedom, a term seemingly universal yet contextually subjective. Its resonance fluctuates dramatically, bending under the weight of cultural heritage, societal construct, and individual perspectives. Absent of defined boundaries, it transforms into a tempestuous arena riddled with divergent and contentious interpretations. In the era of a deeply intertwined global village, the stakes heightening the importance of linguistic subtleties rise exponentially. Ranging from the intricate diplomatic orchestrations that shape global politics, to the intense negotiations steering the course of international commerce, from the academic discourse molding minds of the next generation, to the healthcare communication affecting lives, every arena teems with the potential pitfalls of misunderstanding. Thus, as we tread forward into an increasingly interconnected universe, the necessity for unraveling the ticks and turns of our linguistic maze becomes progressively paramount. A misspoken word or a lost nuance can swiftly escalate into a chasm of discord, highlighting the cruciality of deliberate and thoughtful communication to bridge our shared global narrative. Decoding the enigma, paving the way for the future. Understanding the multifaceted nature of language paves the way for its effective and compassionate use. It behooves us to appreciate its innate power, the dual facets that unite yet divide, enlighten even as they shroud in mystery. Armed with this cognizance, we can endeavor to enhance the clarity, accuracy, and empathy in our linguistic expressions, dissolving the walls of miscommunication that segregate us. As we inhabit a planet burgeoning with rich diversity and intricate complexity, masterful communication transcends the realm of a mere skill to emerge as an inescapable necessity. By judiciously steering the intricate ballet of words with mindfulness and tact, we harness language's formidable strength. In this process, we nurture a deeper understanding, foster unity, and propel progress. Hence, in embodying the duality of language, we glean its untapped potential, transforming it into a torch for liberation and enlightenment. Reflective Summary, Exploring the Tao Section Having journeyed through the Tao Section, we've encountered the heart and soul of the Tao Te Ching. This remarkable section delved deep into profound philosophical explorations, investigating the universe's origins and probing life's ultimate conundrums that have continuously fascinated human contemplation. From the Tao's elusive characteristics to its universal manifestations, the Tao section provided an arena of insight. It unveiled the Tao as both enigmatic and foundational, formless yet omnipresent, capturing the grand paradox that is the tradition of Taoism. As we assimilated the wisdom embodied within these pages, the Tao section unfolded the fundamental truths enveloping existence. 
It unraveled the universe's ceaseless dance of creation and dissolution, tracing the journey of all entities as they ebb and flow from non-existence into being and back again. In this flow, we witness the eternal rhythm of life, the seamless oscillation between tangible reality and the intangible void. Yet, the Tao section was so much more than an exposition of abstract philosophy, it was a roadmap for harmonious living. Its lessons stretched beyond intellectual contemplation, presenting practical guidelines infused with profound wisdom to align one's life with the universe's ebbs and flows. These teachings, emphasizing simplicity, non-action, wu-wei, and deep understanding of Tao's principles, lit up a spiritual path towards enlightenment. Embodying these teachings not only propels us toward personal tranquility but also makes us cognizant of the intricate interconnectedness that threads together the universe. It brings a deeper understanding of the subtle equilibrium and harmony governing all existence, transforming our perspective of the world. As we close the pages of the Tao section, we carry forward the inspiring lessons of this immersive exploration. Our hearts resonate with an enriched appreciation of the universe's unfathomable depths and the underlying currents of Tao that shape its continual dance of life and existence. We now step into the world, conscious of the invisible thread of Tao weaving its magic through the warp and weft of being, reminding us of life's beautiful symphony that dances to the quiet rhythm of the Tao. Reflective Summary, Journey Through the Tao Section As we complete our exploration of the Tao section, we have witnessed the inner depths of the Tao Te Ching, immersing ourselves in the profound philosophical depths of the universe's origins and the paradoxes that have perennially intrigued the human mind. The Tao section has guided us through the labyrinth of the Tao's mystical dimensions, manifested universally yet remaining elusive. It captures the Tao's paradox, pervasive yet elusive, formless yet the bedrock of all that exists, beautifully preserving the quintessence of Taoism. Through our engagement with each verse, we allowed the wisdom within these pages to illuminate our understanding, exposing us to life's eternal rhythm, from inception to dissolution, from existence to non-existence, from form to void, and back again. But the Tao section is not merely a philosophical treatise, it is a roadmap to harmonious living. The wisdom contained within goes beyond intellectual musings, offering practical guidelines imbued with profound wisdom, steering us towards a harmonious coexistence with the universe's natural flows. These teachings emphasize simplicity, non-action, wu-wei, and a profound understanding of the Tao's principles, illuminating a path towards spiritual awakening. By embodying these teachings, we journey towards personal tranquility while becoming more aware of the omnipresent interconnectedness of the universe. This enables us to comprehend the subtle balance and harmony that governs nature. As we conclude our exploration of the Tao section, we take forward the inspiring teachings from this enriching dive into the Tao Te Ching. Our hearts are now echoing with an enhanced appreciation for the universe's staggering depths, the omnipresent Tao influences, and the perpetual cycle of life and existence. Embarking into the world, we are cognizant of the invisible thread of the Tao, enchantingly intertwined within our existence, serving as a poignant reminder of life's beautiful harmony, tuned to the tranquil rhythm of the Tao. Laozi's wisdom doesn't merely enlighten us about the Tao's nature, it requests us to fuse this awareness into our lives, creating a bond with the forces governing existence. Through encouraging us to look beyond the reliance on language as the primary form of understanding, we discover the Tao in its purest form. In essence, the learnings from the Tao Te Ching constitute a profound philosophical journey, one that begins and ends with the Tao. It's a journey from pretentious knowing to humble understanding. By urging us to relinquish the superficial and embrace the profound, Laozi points to the path of inner peace and external equilibrium. Recognizing that the Tao is best experienced rather than explained, Laozi invites us on a voyage of self-exploration to realize the boundless truth within and around us. The ultimate truth, the Tao dialogues in silence and resonates beyond the grasp of language. Its infinite existence refuses definition, yet pervades all aspects of the cosmos, offering an eternal sanctuary from the chaos that arises from the transient grip. This union with the underlying fabric of reality, this return to the source, allows for the extraction of Laozi's message, a message vibrantly pertinent for every living moment. The teachings of Laozi serve an invitation to seek the Tao not in discourse or analysis, but through direct experience, through harmonious coexistence with nature, self-contemplation, and inner peace. In this tranquil state, we find the portal to profound understanding, observe the patterns of nature, the life-death cycle, and the universe's unforced equilibrium. 
Laozi's wisdom compels us to appreciate life and existence as simple joys, to release our hold on complexities, to find clarity in silence, and to seek fulfillment in letting go. The Tao, effectively, constitutes both the journey and the destination. As we follow its path, we learn the art of being, of effortlessly doing, and understanding without overt seeking. In sum, Laozi's profound teachings lead us towards a liberating truth, freeing oneself from fleeting constructs nurtures true peace and happiness. This wisdom's application enables us to sail smoothly on life's river, alive to every moment, conscious of our being, and immersed in serenity. Embarking on this journey, we immerse ourselves in the teachings of Laozi, which are pedagogical gems, guiding us to abstain from the distractions of societal status and illusions. Instead, they lead us towards the essence of simplicity, helping us to avoid pitfalls and maintain our integrity. This way of life takes us beyond philosophical understanding, creating a deep bond with the bedrock forces that govern existence. Embracing these teachings, we harmonize our lives with the rhythm of the universe, becoming conduits of balance and peace. We learn the value of emptiness, the strength of gentleness, the power in yielding, and the profound simplicity among life's complexities. Our interpretation of the Tao becomes richer, transforming our existence, aligning us with nature's cycles, helping us understand the impermanent nature of self-imposed identities and appreciate the underlying unity of all things. By understanding that the Tao is experienced, not described, Laozi liberates us to connect with the Tao's unfiltered essence. Primed with this wisdom, we navigate life's currents seamlessly, reducing conflict, increasing contentment, and understanding the precious balance on which our world depends. Laozi's final reminder speaks volumes, eloquent words, however profound, cannot encapsulate the Tao's true essence. It is a timeless wisdom that runs deeper than the ages, remaining as relevant today as in ancient times. The invitation is to seek and live the Tao beyond interpretation or analysis, through direct experience, living in sync with nature, practicing introspection, and embracing inner tranquility. Within this tranquility lies the portal to deep understanding, the Tao is seen in nature's cycles, life and death's ebb and flow, and the balance that quietly governs the universe. Laozi presents a captivating paradox, understanding the Tao means abandoning conventional knowledge pursuit, and to find it, one must cease searching. This understanding, however, does not equate to rejecting knowledge or foresight. Instead, it invites us to deepen our interactions beyond superficiality. The Tao encourages us to recognize all things' interconnectedness, view ourselves as an essential part of a larger whole, and move in ways that respect and maintain this balance. Through his profound wisdom, Laozi doesn't call us to withdraw but to interact with the world in a manner grounded in life's profound currents. We become silent engineers of harmony, influencers subtly transforming the world. We surrender our preconceived notions, adhering to the natural flow. In doing so, we become one with the Tao. Our actions become effortlessly effective, leaving no trace, making all the difference. In conclusion, liberating oneself from egoistic confines and the chains of materialistic desires reveals a life of true peace and joy. It is in the mastery of non-action that we achieve the most, in desiring less we receive more, and in embracing the nameless and the unknown we find wisdom. Grounded in this wisdom, we traverse existence with the grace of the Tao, seamlessly flowing with life's river, ever-present, ever-aware, and ever at peace. Quotes for today. 1. The Tao is like a well, used but never used up. It is like the eternal void, filled with infinite possibilities. Lousy. 2. Return is the movement of the Tao. Yielding is the way of the Tao. Lousy. 3. The master observes the world but trusts his inner vision. He allows things to come and go. His heart is open as the sky. Lousy. 4. He who knows does not speak. He who speaks does not know. Zhuangzi. 5. The limits of my language mean the limits of my world. Ludwig Wittgenstein. 6. True words aren't eloquent, eloquent words aren't true. Laozi. 7. Ineffable is the word which all men use to indicate the Godhead. Effable that becomes which is known. Plotinus. 8. The eye with which I see God is the same eye with which God sees me. Meister Eckhart. 9. Silence is the language of God, all else is poor translation. Rumi. 10. You cannot step twice into the same river, for other waters are continually flowing on. 
Heraclitus. 11. Everything we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. Niels Bohr. 12. Words are a pretext. It is the inner bond that draws one person to another, not words. Rumi. Thank you for joining this lecture. I hope you found it insightful and enriching. May the ancient wisdom discussed here imbue you with renewed vitality and inspiration. If you found this lecture helpful, please consider subscribing for more content, clicking the notification bell to stay updated, giving us a thumbs up to show your support, and sharing it with your friends to spread the knowledge. Your feedback, questions, and suggestions are always welcome, so feel free to leave a message below. I'll be sure to respond as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching, and I wish you all the best on your journey of learning and growth.